It's just a terrible, terrible law. It was not well thought out. It wasn't vetted. It, they need to repeal it. Some Southern Tier residents are speaking their mind about the New York SAFE Act as Tompkins County legislators talk about finding common ground between repealing and changing the law. Committee members say changes should be made to the law's language rather than a full repeal. Good evening, everyone. I'm Renata Steele. Thanks for joining us here on WENY HD News at 11. Well, the Tompkins County Public Safety Committee held a special meeting tonight to discuss the much talked about SAFE Act. WENY TV's Jennifer Sheehan joins us live in the studio with the latest. Jennifer. Renata, the committee is urging the state legislator and Governor Cuomo to re-examine and modify the SAFE Act using a careful and deliberate public process. Yeah, there's a few good things in it, and we can certainly keep those. But the law itself is deeply flawed, and it needs to be repealed. While more than 40 counties across the state have called on lawmakers to repeal the SAFE Act, Tompkins County is trying to find a middle ground. I'm guessing if I came in the room and were a repeal person, then of course I'm going to not be happy because this resolution does not repeal the SAFE Act. This resolution says fix the SAFE Act. Some community members felt the current law was passed quickly and without consideration of the general public. The details have many public officials worried new regulations could leave law-abiding gun owners in the gray. There are parts of it that are onerous and, and actually penalize a gun, you know, good faith gun owners and legislature needs to fix that. Tompkins County is really aiming for Albany to modify or eliminate all provisions that are unlikely to decrease the number of victims of gun violence, but that in turn could burden law abiding gun owners. The committee will be meeting again Tuesday at 530. Jennifer Sheehan, WENY HG News.